You talked about Mark Meno and, and his um, connection with elections and his astuteness with uh, African elections all over. The way the elections will be run is, is, is a big part of the conversation. That's how the Supreme Court verdict ended as well, in terms of what should be the mechanisms, the procedure to, to create the clear emergence of a very valid winner. There's been um, concerns about the voters' register. And your, your running mate, Mahmoud Balmi, has had press conferences about the voters' register. I myself have raised the issue. The sanctity of the voters' right. register. There's been also a, a seminar in which McMahon was presented for the MPP. What we know now, though, is that the Electoral Commissioner has gone to Parliament with a budget. Um, but the question about whether there will be a new voters' register or not has not yet been answered. Forbes magazine has weighed into it saying that Ghana's peace and stability hinges on next year's elections relating to the voters' register. Assuming that there's no new voters' register, which is what your party has been calling for, what, would, what are the options? I think that first of all, I mean, we have to hear from the Electoral Commission because one thing which um, is lost sight of in this whole discussion, this whole conversation, is that all the parties agreed that the current voters register is not fit for purpose. Mm -hmm. The argument turned on what you needed to do to make it more fit for purpose. Mm -hmm. We insisted from the beginning that we should have a new register. Principally the NDC said no, there's enough to audit it and clean it up, etc. So the, the fact that the register as is, is not fit for purpose is not something which is in dispute. All sides of the political uh, divide in Ghana are clear enough about it. So if a new, electoral, new chair of the Electoral Commission ends up by saying no new register, we want to hear from her how she addresses the general complaint about it. And I think it is when that is done that we will be in a position to say whether or not we think that it is sufficient or adequate, or whether we believe that there are other measures that need to be taken. I mean, there are people, for instance, I know who are, are thinking maybe that are thinking of going to court on this matter. Mm. I, I don't know to what extent. If what you say is satisfactory, there, there could be a court action. That's I'm saying, yeah. I'm just saying. That I know that, for instance, people have been contemplating the idea of going to court about the new register for something. We don't know how it's going to But at the, what, the point I'm trying to make is that, whatever be the case, it cannot be the status quo ante. Mm. Yeah, because everybody's but, in agreement about the status that, quo. that the status quo ante is not correct. It's not, not good enough. Not good enough. So if you say that the way to improve things is not a new register, but rather X, Y, Z, let us wait to hear. Because for instance, the Nigerian solution, mm -hmm. when Jega decided to look at the, 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 the register in Nigeria, initially, from the 73 million that were registered in 2011, process of fingerprint identification allowed him to wean four million people off the register. And then they then created the new voters register which incorporated the biometric data of each voter. It, there's a chip that went into the pub. The, the permanent voters card in which your biometric de details were there. He created it for 68 million people. At the end of the day, 58 million were the ones who came forward for the register. Mm. You can ask yourself... By that process. By that process. Mm. You can ask yourself the question whether or not um, it was because people were tired, were not bothering to come, or whether in fact those were people that were really non-existent. He has not been able to find an answer. I don't think you'll ever be able to find an answer. But at the end of the day, it meant that something like 14 million people were shorn off the Nigerian register of 73 million to bring it down to the 58 million. And very interesting fact. Good luck, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. In 2011, 
beat Muhammad Muhammadu Buhari by over 10 million votes. Mm -hmm. When the register shrank from 73 plus million to 58 million, not only did he lose, but his own vote came down by 10 million. The man who had won the, the election with 22 million votes in 2011. It's a curious connection you are trying well, to establish. Well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm giving it for, for uh, important communicators mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. participants in the national conversation like yours to look at mm -hmm. and to see why it is that it is important for us to take this issue of the register seriously. Because if you have a more credible based document, you get out of it. Because at the end of the day, what is it about the Nigerian experience that um, has caught the imagination of the world? Mm. All the expectations that Nigeria's election would be like the previous ones with, uh, with problems here and there disappeared because there was a sense that this election produced, if you like, the right result. It produced the result in tune with the wishes of the majority of Nigerians. That being the case, not only does it lead to, an, to uh, a quick acceptance by the losing candidate, the incumbent president of the result, but it settled the Nigerian population. Nobody found any urge to get up to be making. Yeah, there were pockets of problems mm -hmm. in our in our countries at this stage of our democratic evolution. There always be, but substantially, people felt that this was the right result and they had no problem with it. And that is what it is that we're after. We're after results in elections where there's no sense of injustice, of, of, of being cheated, but that you have got a result that conforms with the process. And in, to arrive at that, have a base document that is fit for purpose is critical. It is not the only, it is not the exclusive issue, but it is a very important component of getting it the Let's right. have a small so, matter when you're done. Let me just finish and mm -hmm. conclude by that. At the end of the day, if, the, reg if the, the Electoral Commission turns around and say, no, for a uh, while, they were satisfied with this, they cannot stop there. They have to respond to the collective demand that something be done to make this register more fit for purpose. So we will see what it is that mm. they have to say. It's a small matter in which the, some observers who are critical of the MPP position say that this voters register, the status quo ante that you talk about, the one of 2012, uh, that, that the MPP say they don't like. Is that not the same register I upon was, which Akufado was claiming victory in 2012? Yes. How do you answer that question? This is the same register yeah, that you were claiming and, victory. And part, and part of the problem about the, the 2012 election was the issues of the register. It became obvious in court. Hmm. It became obvious in court. Uh, you were seeking to be declared the winner <laughs> of that election. Yes. <laughs> was on our understanding on a proper examination of the evidence that was that was the, con the rightful conclusion but part of the problem that led to the 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 the, 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 the final result was this amorphous nature of this register you remember the the um, the critical issue about foreign registrants yes the difference between the presidential vote mm and the parliamentary vote, which got the Electoral Commission to tell us that it was explained by the fact that um, uh, there were so many overseas voters. You mean the number of people who voted in the presidential election, that very important issue, was different from the number of people who voted, voted in, the, in the parliamentary? I think it, was, it, was it was something like half a million yes. votes. Yes, significant. Si very significant. Mm -hmm. Especially since... Oh, no, I see what you're referring to. The, the votes the president garnered yes. was half a million more than what the NDC parliamentary... No, 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 not that. Mm -hmm. The votes of the presidential turnout the tenor, the, the register of the presidential tenor, oh, the, the, was 500,000 more. Than for the parliamentary. parliamentary. Mm. And they said it was foreign registration. Uh, asked to produce evidence, they produced evidence of 705 people. Mm. So you ask yourself, the nearly 500,000, where are they in the system? And in a situation whereby the president's margin of victory 
apart from the anomaly it has with the, the parliamentary votes, uh, the aggregate of the parliamentary votes of the NDC, in terms of his own difference with me, was well within this 500,000 mark. Just about the court. There's another so, worrying matter about your supporters who so you managed to I'm saying on. that the, 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 the matter that is being pointed out, that there's a contradiction in our position, to me there's no contradiction okay. whatsoever. Okay.